I guess you've logged onto this website because you either suspect you have breast cancer or you've just been told you have breast cancer. And it's a terrible, terrible shock. And it's frightening to think, what's the treatment going to be like? What, what are my chances of survival going to be? And on this website, you will find lots of other women who've been through it and are prepared to talk about their own experience. I've always believed that we have to be open about these things. You know, I can remember the days when my mother used to put her hand over her mouth and say, oh, she's got, got the C word, you know. And now we talk about it. We talk about it openly. And that's so important because it means we can encourage each other to get tested, you know, have our mammograms when we're supposed to have them. And to understand what we'll have to go through if we get it. And also, I think, to put pressure on researchers and doctors to improve diagnosis, improve treatments, improve our life expectancy. So um, even though I encourage people to go for their mammograms, I failed to do so. Uh, I received the call. I looked at the piece of paper. I couldn't go on that day. So I thought, well, I'd better phone up and make a, an appointment for another time, put it on the pile I laughingly called my filing system and promptly forgot about it. And then noticed a symptom. A retracted nipple is a classic symptom. I was standing in the shower and thought, ah. And because I've done such a lot of work on the disease as a journalist, I knew exactly what that symptom meant. As it was, I had to have a mastectomy. Um, I then had chemotherapy, which I wouldn't really wish on my worst enemy, but it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Neither was the mastectomy. I had a bit of reconstruction done, just had a, an implant pushed in there. And, uh, and I now, on the whole, just pretend it never happened. And I'm still here.